Thank you, Dennis. Uh, I want to thank the Republican women, uh, the young Republicans for putting this event on. It's a great chance to come up here and showcase what we have. Um, I want to thank you all for coming out. My name is James Barner. I'm a candidate for the Precinct 4 Constable's Office. Uh, it's a very limited time with three minutes to say what you want to say, so please bear with me as I move through this quickly. Uh, brief history of my career, and I'll give you some verifiable examples of my leadership experiences. I served in the U.S. Navy where I received a formal education in aircraft structures and aeronautics. Uh, subsequently assigned to a fighter squadron sent to the Persian Gulf uh, where I spent some time in the Middle East uh, Operation Southern Watch. Uh, after coming home, being honored with discharge from the Navy, I decided to pursue a career in law enforcement and I was hired by the Brazoria County Sheriff's Office. I've been there for about the last 16 and a half years and uh, during my tenure with the Sheriff's Office uh, I've earned a Master Peace Officer license and worked in several divisions earning promotions along the way from the jail to patrol to crime scene and eventually ended up in the Narcotics Division. Uh, in addition to those duties, I served with the Honor Guard, I've served with the SWAT team and uh, field training officer and also with the state training staff for the Texas Narcotic Officers Association. Uh, during the last 11 years, I've been assigned to the Narcotics Division. I've played numerous roles. I've been a case agent, I've been an undercover officer, um, I've worked in vice operations, I've worked in gambling. Uh, in all them positions, I've been very successful. I was chosen by my supervisors to represent the Sheriff's Office as a Federal Task Force Officer side to the Drug Enforcement Administration where I went to Galveston for two years and did the undercover thing with those guys. After promoting the sergeant, I returned to the Sheriff's Office to play an instrumental role in reestablishing the Sheriff's Narcotics Task Force which is made up of 15 to 18 officers from the Sheriff's Office and other federal, state, and local offices throughout the county. My position is a high liability assignment in addition to seeing the daily field operations and tactical operations of my investigators, I have to track asset forfeiture, uh, maintain the right budgeting for the union while continuing to have high levels of production and uh, maintain cost effectiveness for the office. During the last five and a half years of my tenure as a supervisory sergeant of the Narcotics Task Force, I've either been directly involved with or led my unit to 1,180 cases being solved with 926 arrests being made and 1,336 charges being filed with the DA's Office for Prosecution. In addition to that, we've seized over $2.9 million in cash assets, and that's not including any kind of property uh, that's been sold and revenue created from that. I want to be the consul because I know I'm the most qualified candidate. I've been decorated, and I have a verifiable career that has shown that I've been entrusted with high liability positions throughout my career. I have the character traits to give back to the community. I've been a volunteer with, uh, and board member with many youth and veteran civic organizations. Sheriff Wagner promoted me to my current position because of my strong leadership abilities, my honesty, my integrity, and my ability to make sound business and tactical decisions as a supervisor. In closing, I'm the only candidate that's been entrusted to spend two years with the Drug Enforcement Task Force, been promoted to a supervisory position, and actually performed a leadership role in a police agency. I've proven that I can lead as a productive office for the citizens. I'm just going to continue to move forward and do the right thing for the citizens of Brazoria County and hopefully in the Precinct 4 Constable's Office. I humbly ask for your vote and thank you guys for coming out today.